It's GED question of the day time, and we've got a problem here that says a square has an area of 49 square yards. What is the side length of the square? Now, a lot of you guys solve this problem arithmetically, and that's great. If that's the way you do it, I, there's the, our last video was on this exact same problem arithmetically, but I'm going to solve this algebraically. Let's pretend I forgot everything I ever knew about areas and squares, and so I had to resort to the uh, GED formula sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a glance here at the formula sheet. So here I have, let me come in here, the GED formula sheet. I just, um, you know, Googled literally GED formula sheet on the internet. And this is the sheet that you're going to have available to you on uh, as you take your test. And notice there is a formula here for the area need my pen. We have a formula here for the area of a square. There it is. And what you're going to notice is that this formula relates two different variables. An A, the A stands for area, and an S, the S stands for side length. So the nice thing about this formula is you can use it either way. You can use it to find A or you can use it to find S. Okay, so that's the formula we need because it gives the relationship between area and side length. So let's flip back over to our problem here. Our very first step is going to be just to copy down the formula uh, that we saw that relationship. So that relationship said that the area is equal to uh, the side squared. So now, when you ever you have a formula, you're going to plug in what you know. Now be careful because most students just want to automatically plug in on the right. But we don't know the side length, the S. What do we know? We know the area. The area is 49. And so what's going to have to turn into 49 is your A. And that's going to be equal to S squared. Now, we why did I leave SS? Because S is the mystery. What is the side length? Side length is the thing we don't know. So it's the thing we're solving for here. Now this is just a very simple one-step equation. Now I have um, a letter here, s, a variable that I want to isolate, get it by itself. That's how we solve equations. Uh, but of course we have this problem, the s is hanging out with a square. In algebra, in order to get rid of something, to make it go away, as we do when we have equations, you have to do the opposite. So you have to ask yourself, what's the opposite of squaring? A lot of students forget the opposite of squaring. But remember, let's talk about inverses a little bit. The opposite of add is subtract. The opposite of multiply is divide. But what is the opposite of square? Square root. Uh, that square root symbol is the opposite of square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of s squared. Now, you and I know that I can't just make a change to a math problem because I feel like it. The rule of algebra is I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. So if I take the square root of the right-hand side, I have got to take the square root of the left-hand side to balance that sucker out. Uh, now, after making this balance change, let's go ahead and look at our new equation. What's going to happen here? Well, on this right-hand side, square and square root are opposite, so they cancel. My s will be alone. I'm going to drop that down. And on this left-hand side, there's the math to do, the square root of 49. You can do that in your um, TI-30XS calculator, um, or hopefully you have your perfect squares memorized because the square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. Um, if you need to do it in your TI-30XS calculator, watch out because you're going to have to hit the second button. And then you're going to have to hit that x2 button because right above that is the square root. And then 49 and then enter. That's how you're going to do that in the calculator. And I promise you'll get 7 out of there. Okay. So we have s is equal to 7. But 7 what? This is a geometry problem. I need my units. Okay. So we're talking about a side length here. s is just a side length. If you look at the length of a square, it's just a line. A side length is just a line, a linear measurement. And so it's going to be 7 plain old yards careful it's not square yards. A lot of people think, hey, but this is an area problem. It's got to be square yards. Yeah, the area was measured in square yards, but the side length is just going to be measured in plain old regular yards. Okay, great. So this is the answer here. What is the side length of the square? The side length of that square is seven yards. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments.